Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Hi. Miss. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Welcome back to your English class. How are you? Hi, Miss. You're fine. All right, excellent. What about the rest of the class? Are you good? Are you happy? Are you excited? I am happy. Excellent, Diego. Very good. You're happy because it's finally Friday. Yes. <laughs> right, excellent. Very good. What about the rest? Uh -huh. I hear you. Los escucho. Happy. Happy. Very good, Rolando. Excellent. All right, everyone. Let's get started with the class. Let's see. Today is Friday, February 17th, 2023. Okay. Whose jeans are these? Okay. We are officially in class number 10. All right, today we are going to start section four, okay? Uh, please pay attention. If you have any questions or doubts, let me know, okay? So let's get started. We're going to watch a video from the platform, right? Let me just... Les voy a poner un video de la platform. Solo quiero ver si abre la plataforma, porque... Yo no te estoy intentando abrirla, and it's not opening. Right. ¿Quiénes de ustedes finalizaron ayer el examen? Solo hay un caso que ahora se comunicó conmigo, pero él ya lo hizo, right? Pero ¿quiénes más lo hicieron ayer? Lo finalizaron. Yes. Eh, yo no tenía completo. Lo finalicé. Excelente. Sí, okay. Yo lo finalicé también, maestro. Great, excellent. That's good to hear. Eso es excelente, qué bueno oírlo. All right, uh, so for today, you don't have a question about the midterm exam. No tenemos alguna duda, consulta, pregunta que nos haya surgido del examen de mitad de periodo o de mitad de curso, basically. No. no questions. All right, excellent. Okay, so let's continue with the PowerPoint. Ya no me abrió la plataforma. Let's see what's wrong. Ya vamos a ver qué está pasando, por qué no. Not working. All right, so let's check. We have clothes for work. Okay, so yesterday we were using we were using adjectives. Okay, antes ya me acordé que ayer estuvimos utilizando los adjectives. Antes de que pasemos a este tema nuevo, les voy a decir que me hagan una short practice with the adjectives. All right, quiero que me hagan una práctica chiquitita con los adjectives. Porque quiero asegurarme que el tema esté completamente cubierto, right? Que no haya ningún gap, no haya ningún espacio en blanco que usted diga, ay, eso no me quedó claro con los adjectives, right? Así que les voy a pedir que por favor me hagan two sentences, right? Only two, two sentences using adjectives, utilizando los adjetivos, right? Remember that adjectives are words that describe nouns, right? So take into consideration that. Recuerden que los adjetivos son los que describen, así que tomemos en consideración eso. Antes de que me hagan las sentences, Lucía, tell me three adjectives that you remember. Dígame tres adjetivos que usted recuerde. Disculpe, coach, no que había preguntado. Yeah, don't worry. Tell me three adjectives that you remember. Dígame tres adjetivos que usted recuerde. We saw them yesterday, lo vimos ayer. Eh, sería, creo que eran this. ¿Ah? Es uno this. Ah, el adjetivo es el que describe. Por ejemplo, veíamos she's a little heavy. No, no lo anoté. All right, Lucía, don't worry. No se preocupe, it's okay. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Susana. A ver, Susana, dígame tres adjectives que usted recuerde. Um, cute, smart, uh, thing, uh, tall. Uh -huh, very good. Brenda, tell me three adjectives that you remember. He's really tall. Uh, he's short. He, he's... All right, excellent. Notice this, everyone. 
Notemos, cuando yo le pregunté a Susana los adjectives, ella me dio cabal eh, cuatro, me dio cuatro, ¿verdad? Right? Y en el caso de Brenda me dio sentences con los adjectives, me dio las oraciones con los adjectives, ¿verdad? Right? So you got both examples, tienen ambos ejemplos. Recuerden que vimos alrededor de 12 adjectives yesterday, right? Eran como dos adjetivos los que vimos ayer. Donde aparecía un payasito, right? Aparecían dos personas que eran, they are good looking, right? Eran guapos. Eh, we had a shy girl. Había una chica tímida. One, it was pretty talkative. Una que era muy hablantina, parlantina. One, he was quiet, right? So maybe refresh your mind, right? Tratemos de recordar los adjectives y me crean, por favor, dos oraciones. Only two sentences. Teacher, dos adjectives. Vaya, lo que usted acaba de decir, tengo aquí be, clean, mute. Eso sería adjective, ¿verdad? Yes, cute. Sí, son Vaya. adjectives. Ok, ¿y qué me quiere decir con sentences? Eh, sentences son oraciones. Ah, ok. Entonces, cualquier oración que lleve... Que lleve adjectives. Ok. Exactly. Right. Yeah, that's correct, all right? Mm -hmm. Cuando usted dice, my house is clean, mi casa está limpia. Right? Usted está describiendo cómo está su casa. My house is clean. Long. Great, excellent, Mr. Ventura, very good. We're only going to wait for the rest of the students, okay? And then we're going to start. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, we're missing Finish. a lot of people. Okay, very good, very good. What about the rest of the people? Only Mr. Ventura and Mr. Valdez have finished. Uh, done. Great, excellent. Let's get started, right? Let's start with Mr. Ventura. Please tell me your examples. Uh, Henry is very tall. Uh -huh. uh, my car is old. Very good, my car is old. That's correct. Listen up. Recuerden que describimos eh, objetos, podemos describir personas, podemos describir animales, all right? There's not anything that you cannot describe. No hay nada que no podamos describir. Inclusive podemos describir las acciones que la gente realiza, right? So, uh, take into consideration that, tomen en consideración eso para que no nos quedemos siempre solo con los objects uh, de los seres humanos, right? Let's listen to Elisa. I hear you, Elisa. My cell phone is nerd. Ajá, uh -huh, excellent. Y... My dog is milk. My dog is? It's milk. ¿Qué me quiere decir con eso? Mi perrito es pequeño. Ah, it's small. It's small. Uh -huh, exactly, small, yes, that's correct, thank you. Now let's go with Diego, I hear you, Diego. Okay, your parents are very friendly. Mm -hmm. And my sister is angry. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good. Let's go with Rolando Hernandez, please. Yes. <laughs> this is my new car. Uh -huh. This is my new car. A new teacher, new teacher. 
is clean. The, ah, the new t-shirt. Yeah, the t-shirt. No t-shirt, the t-shirt. Okay. Uh -huh, t-shirt. The camisa. Uh -huh, yeah, t-shirt. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct, Rolando. Let's go with Elias. And after Elias, Vicky. Uh, my my PlayStation is old. Uh -huh. My sister is handsome. Aha! Let's check. Let's check. What do we have in here? Ayer no veíamos los adjetivos que equivalen a un solo género, right? Pero ahí ya que Elias nos arrojó luz en ese tema, let's check. Yo no puedo decir Lucía is handsome. Yo no puedo aplicar el adjetivo handsome a una mujer. Yo sé que en español sí decimos bien guapa esa muchacha, ¿verdad? Porque ve elegante, alta, right? But in English we we don't. Pero en inglés no lo hacemos, right? O decimos she's pretty, she's elegant, she's beautiful, pero no decimos she's handsome, right? En cambio con los hombres a los hombres sí se les aplica handsome Elias, right? Usted sí puede decir, eh, Elias is handsome, eh, right? Eh, I don't know, Arnoldo is handsome. My brother is handsome. Ya ahí sí puede aplicar, pero a una persona del género femenino, ¿ok? Ok. Okay. Let's go with the next one, Vicky, and then Fátima. Um, my dress is blue and large. Bravo. Excellent. Listen up. She, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Vicky. Continue. Me emocioné. <laughs> uh, your sweet is cute. Your sweater. 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 Perdón. <laughs> yes, very good. Don't worry. Okay, let's check. Veamos. Vicky utilizó, utilizó colores y es y tallas, podríamos decir, all right, para describir a su vestido, all right, so that was good, estuvo muy buena, Vicky, excellent, let's go with Fatima. My brother is tall, and my dog is a little fat. Can you repeat number one, please? Puede repetirme la número uno. My brother is tall. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good, my brother is tall. Le, pre, le dije que me lo repitiera Fátima porque cuando usted abre el micrófono, lo, las primeras palabras que usted dice no se le escuchen. Right? Y todo el curso ha pasado eso, pero después voy agarrando yo qué es lo que va diciendo usted. But now I really need it. Okay, yes. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Lucía. Hola, Lucía. My new shorts are white. Um, today I was very busy. All right, today I was very busy. Yes, exactly. We are describing how was your how was our day. Excelente, está en pasado y usted está describiendo cómo fue su día. Very good. Let's go with Roxana Chacón. Después de Roxana, Brenda Esmeralda. Así como un poco más barato. I am very talkative. <laughs> <laughs> My cat is very cute. Very cute, excellent. Me gusta mucho sus oraciones, excellent. Let's go with Brenda Esmeralda. My boyfriend is funny. Se le apagó el micrófono, Brenda. My boyfriend is funny. Yeah, sí, la otra. Eh, my mother is really friendly. Very good, excellent. There you go. Wendy Padilla, I hear you. Boy. Okay, teacher. Eh, Peter is a handsome man. Mm -hmm. The teacher is a handsome man. Uh -huh. 
ค่ะเอเอ็งไม่ my dog is a little ah my dog is small is it small yes it's very good uh -huh. excellent thank you thank you very good All right, let's check Claudia Pineda, please. <coughs> Pardon. My jacket is very beautiful. All right. Her, her skirt is ugly. Right, excellent. Voy a quitar esto porque ya vi que me empezaron a agarrar de ese vocabulary. Todavía no lo hemos visto. Pero están correctas, Claudia, la felicito. Claudia Flores, no sé si ya pasó. Let me know. No he pasado. Tengo, bueno, tengo tres, aunque una me parece que ya la escuché. Right. Tengo, my cat is cute, pero esa creo que sí ya la dijeron. Yeah. Tengo, my friend Zaira is really tall. Y tengo otra eh, que decía, my shoes is small. Ajá, my shoes are small. Ok. Yes, very good, Claudia. Excellent. Uh, las tres están correctas. So I see that I have cat lovers over here. Veo que hay bastantes personas que le gustan los cats. So <laughs> that's good. Good for you. Let's check. Clothes for work and clothes for leisure. All right. Now we can have the vocabulary. We have... Let me share with you this For men, we have shirt, tie, belt, jacket, and pants. All together, tanto la jacket y los pants juntos se vuelven un suit. Suit, right? No es suit, suit. Coat, shoes, raincoat, blouse, scarf. Scarf, skirt, skirt, high heels, high heels, dress. Now clothes for leisure. We have sweater, sweater, gloves, gloves, jeans, boots, pajamas, pajamas. No son pijamas, pajamas. Swimsuits, swimsuits, sneakers, sneakers, socks, socks, shorts, shorts, t-shirt, t-shirt, cap, cap. Listen up, he escuchado, yo ya he escuchado y ustedes quizá ya han escuchado, right? Eh, que las personas dicen en español, pasame un par de chores, right? That doesn't exist. Eso no existe, right? Se puede decir, pasame un par de shorts, right? Les digo eso porque ahí están agregándole letras al, al plural que, que no, pues, que no se puede, right? Entonces, just for you to know, solo para que sepan. Si quieren utilizar el Spanglish, it's okay. Está bien, pero no digan chores. So let's go. Let's go with the next one. Let me have um, Susana Sanchez, please. Tell me the vocabulary for clothes for work. Susana Sanchez. Short, blouse, tie, uh, scarf. Build, jacket, pants, uh, suit, coat, shoes, uh, skirt, skirt, uh, falda, skirt, skirt, and dress, and high heels. Yes, that's correct, my friend. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Um, uh, I what was his name? Brian, 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 Brian. Let me check. What is his name? His last name. Ventura, right? Tell me clothes for leisure, please. Okay. Hat, sweater, gloves, jeans, boots, 
eh, pijamas, eh, swimsuit, sneaker, shorts, short, t-shirt, and cap. That's correct. Thank you. Diego Valdez, tell me clothes for work and Lucia, clothes for leisure. Action, Diego. Okay. Okay, clothes for work. Shirt, tie, belt, jacket and pants, suit, coat, shoes, raincoat, dress, high heels, skirt, scarf, and blouse. 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 Right, blouse. blouse. Thank you. Action, Lucia. Closer, clothes for laser. Hat, gloves, sweater, jeans. Sweater. Sweater. No, jeans. sweater no. <laughs> Sería sweater. Sweater. Yes, bravo, there you go. Jeans, boots, pijamas. Pijamas. Eh, pijamas, cap, the shirt, short, um, shock, stocks. sneakers, stocks, sneakers, y swimsuit. Swimsuits. Swimsuit. All right, repeat after me. Socks. Socks. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah, socks. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Alfredo Ramirez, clothes for work. And Wendy Padilla, clothes for leisure. Action. Okay. So the first one, shirt, uh, tied, belt, jacket, pants, coat, shoes, uh, blues, cord, skirt, as a high heel, raincoat, and dress. Repeat after me, blouse. Blouse. Okay. A scarf. Scarf. Okay. Very good. Action, Miss Padilla. Todo, verdad? Yes, clothes for leisure. Oh, oh, bye. Eh, quiero ver. A coat, shoes, pants, jacket, suit, belt. Tie, shirt, blouse, scarf. Uh, clothes, clothes for leisure, Wendy. Ah. Usted me está diciendo clothes for work y yo quiero clothes for leisure. El que está a la par de clothes for work. Okay. Ya, ya va. Hat, sweater, blouse, jeans. Bo boats, jeans, shorts, sock. Uh -huh. I don't know. Well, sneakers? Sneakers, um, cap, t shirt, and pijamas. Pijamas? Pijamas y. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Swimsuits. Swing suits. Uh -huh. yes. Swing suits. Yay, bravo, Wendy. Thank you. All right, everyone, listen up. This vocabulary is not that difficult. All right, el vocabulary no es tan difícil, podríamos decir. Solo repitamos algunas palabras que nos pueden seguir costando, como sweater, sweater, socks, socks, que significa calcetines. Uh, swimsuits, swimsuits, esta parte, suit, suit, All right? That's it. Let's move on to the next one. Nos movemos a lo siguiente. Practice time. What do you wear for work, All right? Eh, voy a pedirle a una pareja, pero ahorita quiero que esto lo trabaje en su cuerno. Usted va a poner, for work I wear... Nosotros no utilizamos el verbo use para decir que usamos, sino que nosotros vestimos. Entonces utilizamos wear, right? Entonces si usted me dice, for work I use socks, eso está mal. Tiene que ser, for work I wear socks. Si está hablando de los lentes también, 
I wear sunglasses. I wear glasses, right? I wear earrings. I wear earrings. Okay, let's go with the number two. What do you wear on your weekend? ¿Qué se pone usted o qué viste durante el fin de semana? On weekends, I wear... El fin de semana me visto. Y ya dice, I, I wear sandals, eh, I don't know, pijamas the whole day, shorts. Así, right? Quiero que me describa qué utiliza usted para el trabajo y qué utiliza para los fines de semana. Ok. So let's work on it. Les voy a dar un minutito por ahí para que terminen esta información en su cuaderno. Y luego ustedes mismos se van a ir preguntando. Miss, I have a question. Yeah, I hear you. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice centro? Así como de esto, centro. Mm. Fíjate que yo creo que entra Diego en la categoría de shirt. Shirt. De t-shirt, perdón, de t-shirt. Uh -huh. okay. Porque no es formal. Y todo lo que deja de ser formal es t-shirt. Oh, bien. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Eh, con la donde dice high heels, yes. esos son tacones. Justamente, oh. high heels. Sí, ah. Thank you. Coach, teacher, ¿cómo se dice sandalias? ¿Perdón? Sandalias. Ah, sandals. ¿Cómo se dice? Sandals. Yes. Uh, coach, how do you say like um suave? Sweater. Eh, un vestido suave. Ah, pero es que en suave no, no existe. Oh, no, no. En ropa, traslúcido existe, all right? Pero suave, I don't know, se refiere como un vestido caído. Um, como en weekends, uno viste, o sea, cómodo, algo fresquito, no sé, eso me quiero referir. Puedes poner informal dress. Mm, ok. Thank you. Informal dress. Y así se da a entender que no es un vestido formal. All right. Have you finished? Done. Great. Finish. Excellent. Good, good. Eh, Mr. Ventura y Mr. Valdez, ustedes dos siempre van compitiendo. ¿A quién termina? <laughs> competitividad sana. Exacto. Very good. That makes us stronger, decimos. Eso nos hace más fuertes. Very good. Let's check. So, a manera de ejemplo, vamos a dejar al señor Ventura y al señor Valdez que nos enseñen cómo hacer esto, ¿ok? Eh, Brian, usted va a preguntar ambas, ¿all right? Y el señor Valdés le va a contestar, right? Le digo señor, pero no porque estén mayores, right? Sino que así es como se dice en inglés. Mr. Valdés is going to answer. Después, Mr. Valdés, you are going to ask. Usted pregunta 
And Mr. Ventura is going to answer. Action. Uh, what, do you wear, what do you wear for work? Uh, for work, I wear socks and t-shirt and shorts. Uh, what do you wear on your weekend? Uh, on weekends, I wear socks, a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> Well, how come? I'm sorry, how is that? Your play will never change. Lo, lo, lo mismo also. Ah, trabaja desde casa. Sí, sí. Ah, that's so cool. Uh -huh. Excellent. Ajá, uh -huh. Diego, you ask. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, what do you what do you wear for work? For work, I wear t-shirt, jeans, and socks and shoes. Um, what do you wear on your weekend? On weekend, I wear short t-shirt and socks and sneakers. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Bravo, you guys. Great job. Excelente. Vamos a la siguiente pair. Vamos a ver. Lucia, have you finished? Terminó, Lucia? Vaya, escoja su pareja, please. Choose your victim. Escoja su víctima. No sé, esperen que no la veo a todos. No sé, escojan a usted. Ah, vaya, y tenemos a Claudia Pineda. She wants to participate with you. Misma dinámica. Lucía, you ask, usted pregunta. Claudia contesta. Then you exchange. Luego intercambia, ¿ok? Action. Ok. Eh, Claudia, what do you wear for, for work? For work, I wear skirt, blouse, high heels, and jacket. Okay. Um, what do you wear on your weekend? For weekend, I wear pajamas, shorts, t shirt sandals, or Sneakers. Okay. Okay. Okay, Claudia, now it's your turn. <laughs> Wait. What do you wear for work? Okay. For work, I wear blouse and pants and dress shorts. Excellent. What do you wear on your weekend? On weekend, I wear shirt, also shorts, and sandals. Very good. Excellent, girls. Bravo. Listen up. Teacher, ¿por qué no una dice for y no otra dice on? You might wonder. Puede que usted se haya preguntado. Bueno, en realidad lo cambiamos así, solo como para hacerlo, pues, different, all right? Es que en la número uno usted está diciendo, para el trabajo yo visto, all right? Y en la número dos usted dice, en el fin de semana yo visto, all right? That's mm -hmm. the difference. La única diferencia, ya si nos pusiéramos a traducir, all right? Which we shouldn't, lo cual no deberíamos, pero siempre se hace. Let's go, Elias. You ask, Rolando, you answer, then vice versa. What do you wear for work? For work, wear a cheers, jeans, a bow, boots, boots. Wait, va la segunda pregunta, ¿ah, Elias? What do you what do you wear on your weekend? On your on, on your weekend I wear short t-shirt sneaker. Very good, excellent. Let's exchange. Ahora usted pregunta, Rolando. Y el Ayas contesta. <laughs> what do you what do you wear for work, Elias? For work, I wear shy <clears throat> jacket and um, I wear shoes or boots 
and great squat. What do you wear on your weekend, Elias? Uh, on weekend, I wear cap, I wear shire, and jacket, shorts, and shoes. Very good, excellent, thank you. Now let's check. Elias, repeat after me. Where? Where? Uh -huh, exactly, All right? Yo sé que suena como cuando usted pregunta a dónde, where, where, ¿verdad? Tienen la misma pronunciación, pero son distintas cosas. Ahora bien, si usted me dice weird, como me estaba diciendo, me está diciendo raro, ¿ok? Weird. So, we need to be careful. Ahí hay que tener un poquito de cuidadito, right? Porque podemos confundir los sonidos de las palabras. Great. Great job, you too. Excelente trabajo a ambos. Let's go with Elisa. Necesito una pair para Elisa, please. Excellent, Claudia Flores. Let's check. Eh, <laughs> let's check, Claudia Flores. Eh, Elisa, you ask, usted pregunta, Claudia Flores, you answer, all right? Then vice versa. Okay. What do you wear for work? For work, I wear blouse and pants high heels what do you wear on your web mm, what do you wear on your weekend 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 on weekend i wear pajamas uh, yes. very good excellent thank you ahora cambiamos claudio usted pregunta what do you what do you wear for work? For work, I wear jacket, pants, shoes. What do you wear on your weekend? On weekend, I wear heels, sandals. Y here. High heels. High heels. Very good, girls. Excellent. Thank you. Great. I see that you like this activity. Veo que les gusta esta actividad porque sí me han participado personas que usualmente no me participan. All right. That's great. Vamos con la última pareja porque después tenemos una conversation. Vamos a tener a Roxana Chacón en Fátima Joven. Roxana, you ask, usted pregunta, Fátima, you answer, and then vice versa. Uh, what do you wear for work? I wear a t-shirt, sneakers, jeans, socks, and glasses. What do you wear for your weekend? On weekend, I wear a um, t-shirt. Sneakers, jeans, socks, and cap. Now, Farima, you ask. What do you wear for work? For work, I wear high heels, earrings, gloves, skirt, and blouse. What do you wear on your weekend? On weekend, I wear shirt, jeans, sneaker, or a sandal. Bravo, girls. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Listen up, Rutsana. Repeat after me. Where? Where? Yes. All right. Si usted me dice where, me está diciendo rarita. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's check the following. Vamos al siguiente, all right? Um, let me see. We had a conversation. Tenemos una conversation, all right? Esta es la mejor parte donde ustedes pueden practicar. Let's check. The topic of the conversation is, it's a disaster, all right? So I think we're going to watch the video from the platform. Vamos a, vamos a ver el video de la plataforma, okay? Porque, como habrán notado, ando un poco mala de la garganta ahorita. Siempre les voy a hacer la pronunciación de la, de la conversation, ¿verdad? Pero... 
necesito ayuda del video ahorita, para que ustedes tengan doble, doble recurso. ¿Ok? Let's check. We go. Let's pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green. Light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I'd like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If yes, we're going to practice the conversation. So let's go to it. We have Pat and Judy. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No. It's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Let's take, well, sorry, pague me. All right, let's go to the conversation, y'all. Let me have a... Um, I'm going to, yes, Wendy Padilla. No sé por qué Wendy cuando voy bajando y veo su, su cuadrito que dice Wendy Padilla, pienso, ah, voy a decirle a Wendy y Cabalito, usted levanta la mano, me lee la mente. Right. You watch me. Let's go. Okay. Usted va a ser Paz y Ronald González, you are Julie. Action. Okay. Bye. Pat. Hey, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Hers, a light blue blouse. It's, is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a dis, the disaster. disaster. Disaster? Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? How? They're mine? Sorry. Very good. Yay. Excellent. Bravo, yo. Excelente. Muy buena entonación. Respetaron the punctuation marks. Great. All right. There's nothing else. Solo Ronald, cuando momento de que practique usted, re recuerde que este es clothes. Clothes. Right? Sorry, teacher. Clothes. Yeah, no se preocupe, right? Eh, yo tengo que darles ese feedback porque si no, yo también me voy en la colada y que los dejo pasar los errores, right? No. 
Let's go with Brian Ventura. You are Paz. Y ya le busco una Julie. Vicky, Elizabeth, please. <laughs> you are Julie, Vicky. Okay. Uh, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is is? It's is it? white. Here's a light blue blouse. It is is yours. No, it's not mine. Wait, is it mine? It's a disaster. Oh no. Uh, our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Is these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they? My, sorry. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's just check. Vicky, no pude evitar notar que se estaba comiendo el subject pronoun it. All right? No me lo estaba pronunciando como el, what color is it? Uh -huh. Is it yours? Is it? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I got you, girl. I comprend, right? No sé ni qué decirle porque la verdad, pero... All right. Pero, este, no se lo coma porque si no deja perdida la persona, right? Let's check. Eh, sé que estamos acostumbrados a ver primero el subject y no ver el verb to be antes, all right? Pero pues, así es la cuestión gramatical. Let's go with Lucia. Lucia, you are Julie and Diego Valdez. You are Paz. Action. Um, great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color it is? It is it? <laughs> it is white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it is not mine. Wait, it is mine. It is a disaster. Oh, no. Our, our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It is, is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. They're mine, sorry. Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Los felicito a ambos. Lucia, great job with the intonation. Excelente trabajo con la entonación. Same as Diego, all right? Fluency, Diego. Usted ha mejorado muchísimo la fluency, all right? Since the first class. Now, ahora bien, Diego. Veo que no le gustan las contractions. <laughs> Cuestan un poco. ¿Le cuesta o no le gusta utilizarla? Me cuesta, creo. All right, yes. Pero trate de practicarlas, right? It's, it's. Um, what's the other one? No tenemos otra contraction aquí, right? Porque básicamente esa es la única que utilizamos más seguido, Diego, right? Okay. Very good. Other than that, otra cosa aparte de esa, nada. Todo está perfect. Let's go with another pair. Vamos con otra pareja. Let me have Sara Abigail, you are Path. And Brenda Esmeralda, you are Julie. Action. Great, her blues are dry. Where is, where is my new blouse? New blouse, repeat, new blouse. New blouse, blouse. What color is it? It is white, white. Her a uh, light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's no night. Wait, it is night. It's a disaster. Oh no, uh, our clothes are light blue. Sara, your microphone. Perdón, sorry. No se preocupe. 
Her the problem is she's the blue jeans. How oh, jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Oh, thank you, girls, for your effort. All right. Gracias por su esfuerzo, girls. All right. Uh, Sarita, repeat after me. Voy a ponerle aquí el puntero para que podamos repetir juntas. It's not mine. It's not mine. It is mine. It, it is nine. No, usted me está diciendo nine, que es nueve en inglés. Aquí es ma, 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 mine. Mine. Ah, excellent. There you are. Ahora sí, Sarita. Excellent. Thank you. All right, so let's go with the next one. Vamos con Rolando Hernández. You are Julie. All right. Recuerden que esta, pala esta palabra que está al principio no se pronuncia great. Es great. Great. All right. Con entusiasmo, everybody. Bye. Entonces, Rolando, usted es Paz. Elisa Romero, you are Julie. Action. Great. Our clothes are, are dirty. Where is my new blues? What color it is? It's a white. Here's Alex blues blows. Repeat after it's, me. Here's a light. Here's a light blue blouse. Blue blouse. Is, is it, it yours? No. It is not mine. Why? It is mine. It is a disaster. Oh, no. I or clothes are like blue. Hard is the problem. The problem. It is these new blue jeans. Who's? Jeans? Who, whose jeans are they? Oh, they are my. Sorry. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Rolando, repita después de me. Here's. Here's. Yes, indeed. Very good. Bye. Vamos con la última pareja que sería Claudia Pineda. Ay, me falta Elias. Es cierto. Bye. Entonces vamos con Claudia Pineda y Elias. All right. Hey, Claudia, usted va a ser Paz, Elias, you are Julie. Action. Great. Our clothes are great. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? Is, mm, is it? Okay. What color is it? It's white. Hers a light blue blouse. It's it, it is yours. Is it yours? Is, is it yours? No, it's not mine. White. It it's mine. It's a desert. Disaster. No. It's a disaster. Oh no. All or clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are my sorry. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, Claudia. And Elias. Elias, great job. All right. Excelente trabajo. Good fluency and pronunciation. Fluidez y pronunciación. Eh, Claudia Pineda, great, all right, Claudia, mire, realizó tan bonitas esas preguntas, lo respetó tan bien el signo, excellent, very good. All right, everyone, let's go with the last pair, vamos con la última pareja, which is Roxana Chacón, y vamos a tener a Alfredo Ramírez. Alfredo Ramírez, you are Paz, Roxana, you are Julie, and we finish with that. Okay, here we go. Uh, Paz, great. Great, uh, I will close it. Are dry. Where is my new blue blouse? What color is it? 
it is white. Here's like blue blues. Here is yours. Is it Rosana? Is it yours? No, isn't uh not mine. Wait, is it mine? It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are like blue. Uh, here's the problem. Is uh these new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they're they're mine. Sorry. Bravo! Excellent. Very good. Let's say this before we leave the classroom. Antes de que dejemos el salón de clases. Next week we are going to continue with section four. La próxima semana continuamos con la sección cuatro. Right? No la hemos terminado. Creo que apenas esta es como que es el segundo video. Ustedes pueden avanzar en el fin de semana y les recomiendo que lo hagan para que no estén el lunes y el martes eh, preocupados que teacher me va a cerrar la plataforma. No, all right? Si usted tiene un tiempito, una hora, aunque sea el sábado y una hora el domingo, use it. Utilicen, ¿ok? Eh, let me check. Si necesita ayuda con algún exercise, no olviden pedírselo a los de inglés corporativo que ellos ya les, ofreci les han ofrecido ayuda a ustedes en el grupo. All right? Without anything else to add, sin darles algo más o adherirles algo más a esta clase, let me tell you goodbye and have a great night. See ya on Monday. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. See ya. Bye.